Well, hello, my Instacart shoppers and customers and gig workers. It's so nice to have all of you here. Thank you for subscribing and helping me to grow my channel. I've got my um, Verona Starbucks. It's it's empty. It's so delicious, and it's just a big bag. So as you can see, it just keeps me going. Um, if you can smell through the camera, my smell is eau de skunk, Pepe Le Pew. It seems Frankie met one. <laughs> and so here there are Greg and I at, our, at three in the morning, you know, washing the cat with, with Dawn because we just don't have any tomato juice hanging around in the house. What a nightmare. <laughs> so, yeah, Pepe Le Pew, here we are. Anyway, so here we go with our gig work once again, just trying to get it all done and trying to figure it out and trying to dig out and just, you know, it was funny because Kim, it's your personal shopper, and uh, she wrote a comment that, like, it's all on their plan with Instacart. And isn't it, though? You know, they they keep us at this low, ridiculous rating because who else would take those doubles and triples that have low to no trips and higher mileage and everything else? So if you're like me, you look at, you know, the lack of decent batches close by with a tip and you, you just out of desperation it's like well I have to do something and so you take one of those figuring well it's three three trips that'll work towards that you know knocking off another hundred just to get rid of one four star or whatever it is only to find that it it might even bring you a two or a one because those are the people that don't appreciate or respect what you do as a shopper. It's it's totally frustrating and you know, it's it's suppressing, isn't it? It's just like we're kept so down and it feels so intentional after a while. I mean, this has been such a sucky summer for me with batches and trips and just trying to make it make it all work. I, I'm so glad for the other apps. I'm so glad for my in in store shopping gig, even cashiering. It just works. And so there's a few Instacart shoppers that I definitely recognize and they're in there all the time. And I look at them and I say, you know, are are they five star shoppers that are just, you know, do they have any of the same issues that I have? Do they have the same connectivity issues with their app, with Waze, with Google Maps, with getting out of the store, with things not scanning? You know, like they just seem so calm and relaxed and are they making their, you know, grand a week real easy peasy and they just have that casual look of flip flops and cutoffs and, you know, or leggings and, and the, the guy that I recognize, you know, he looks like, well, might, might as well just pick up a 50 or $60 batch and just, you know, they just have that calm and collected look. And I'm like, oh my God, will I ever get past 4.92 no matter how much I do? It's just, it's just the way that it is. And so um, I'm grateful for what I have and not... Um, pouty or cranking about what I don't have. I wish it was different. I do what I can to make it different. But sometimes it just, yeah, it's easy to take an extra shift of which there seem to be many these days um, at my job. You know, my supervisor thought she had COVID, so I got uh, an in-store shopper shift yesterday and then a couple of cashiers quit. Um, so, you know, I get more of those shifts and and so suddenly I'm a paycheck, paycheck girl instead of a gig girl. And, you know, I like both. I mean, I'm just grateful to be busy because being busy is what keeps this hamster wheel kind of calmed down. You know, I wanted to put away a good chunk of money from the summer, <clears throat> from the next and the next and the next. But lo and behold, it hasn't turned out that way. It's the traffic makes it impossible. Every time you have to do something like go to the front of the store and reload the app and then quickly scan in the five items you picked up um, before it goes wonky again or that sideways thing, you know, you just, it all takes time. And 
that plays into a lot of it. Um, so I don't know. We just we just do what we do. And, you know, I listen to the other people's videos and I watch their ride alongs and their shop alongs and and, you know, it's great. You know, there's there's good humor. There's a lightheartedness, but there's also that sense of community that like, yes, I am familiar with that. And yes, I'm glad it works out for you and that you showed us how it works out for you so that we can utilize those tips and tricks when we have the same issue for the first time while we're shopping at the store with the app, with the Google Maps, with the Waze, and we can see that like we're not alone. And, you know, as I often tell my supervisor with my in-store shopping, you know, at first when the little handheld gizmo, you know, won't let you do something unless you undo something and you don't know about that, you don't know it's a glitch, right? So it's the same way with Instacart until you learn that it's a glitch in the in the app and it's not something you're doing wrong you sit there and think it's you because you know instacart has trained us well in accepting you know the self-abuse and um and so you know until you learn that oh that's just an app glitch it's very frustrating because we feel it's got to be us we're doing something wrong we must be missing that one thing and um, if only we could get past this one thing, we'll be fine. But then you learn it's a glitch. And, you know, basically when my supervisor gives me the way out of a glitch, it's like, you know, gaming the app. And that's what we've had to do with Instacart, especially this summer. I'm really hoping that all of this connectivity and, and the apps and the maps and the laps um, all those things will kind of go away when it's cooler weather. Maybe it's a usage thing. There's so many people off the same satellite. It gets wonky. I don't know. I don't really care. I just don't like it. You know, I it's way above any Instacart shopper's pay grade. That's for sure. So here we are doing what we do. And the one thing I do like about the... Um, the shop, in store shopping is it does give you the aisle. It even gives you the shelf if you want to go that much further. So when you see one of those tickets, like when you pull up to the BNM baked beans and you see all the little numbers there, it actually is giving you the aisle, the shelf location, um, and something else. So it is kind of cool that way. Um, and so that's that's appreciated and it, it has it has helped me when I do Instacart because I can remember the aisle, the visual of the um, address, so to speak, of the, like, you know, the Dawn dish soap. <laughs> Speaking of Dawn, you know, I can remember, oh yeah, that's aisle number nine. And because I see the nine, I see the nine, my brain is recording the nine as opposed to, yeah, I think it, I know it's over there, but I'm not quite sure what the aisle number is. So, Anyway, we move on and we just are grateful for what we have, right? And if you've seen the batches this summer, I mean, it's just incredible on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. It's like, woo, right out of the gate, there's like a dozen to choose from. And yes, as some people, you know, um, say in their comments, it's leftovers from the night before. And you can tell the leftovers, it's the 95 items and no tip ones. But there are some gems in, you know, the plethora, oh, I love that word, of the batches that are offered. And so we can pick and choose at six in the morning. It's not just leftovers that, like, nobody else wanted the day before. Um, it's, you know, truly can be to our benefit. So I like to grab onto them. But uh, I have been called in to work so many times that I've missed the six o'clock drops. Today I go in at eight um, to be a cashier. And um, so, but what I did the last time I had to be in at 8.30, I think, I took a six o'clock batch that was at the store closest to me. And so that was great. And, you know, I still prefer Instacart. Isn't that awful that like, even after all the abuse and the connectivity and the ratings and everything else, it's like, 
it's still a way to do five, six, seven batches in a day and make a decent day's wage. So that's the sad part about it, right? Is that, you know, forget Instacart and how they treat us. It's at the end of the week, you know, what goes into the till to pay the bills and sock it away for taxes and all that other good stuff. Because that's what we have to do, right? Oh my God, this, this skunk thing, it's <laughs> poor Frankie. He's going to smell like a skunk for a week. And so am I. <laughs> He's like, cashier. Whee! Whee! Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for cashiering. <laughs> anyway, I will see you here the next time. This has been Sarah. Instacart, Pearls of Wisdom. I'm so glad that you're here in my wheelhouse. Just me telling it like it is and keeping it real. Thank you. I'll see you here the next time. Bye-bye for now.